Here we are at WonderCon Anaheim 2018 with someone who I, I guess is becoming a regular when we do these things, Sean Callery. Sean, how you doing? All right, man. How are you? It's good to see you again. Well, we, let's start. Let's continue from the last time we spoke was at San Diego. Okay. And back then, you, you, you had to be a little bit cryptic about Jessica Jones when it was coming, and then boom, International Women's Day, there it is. There it was, yeah. So great job on, on again, another great score on that. Uh, thank you. Um, you, 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 did, man, you did give me a little bit in San Diego. You said it was going to be emotional to, to, to go with what's on there. Yeah. Why was it? Yeah. So, I mean. Well, now that you can, talk a little bit about Well, I mean, that. I mean, you know, uh, probably one of the, I mean, every character went to a new place, right? Yeah. I mean, you know, you look at Hogarth and what happened to her. I mean, she, one of the ice coldest lawyers, you know, the character, played so wonderfully by Carrie Ann Moss. And then uh, to have her have the struggle that she had. I don't know how much I can spoil alert on this, but you know, she 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 has to struggle. I was just thinking that actually like, wait, how yeah. much can we say? <laughs> yeah, but I, I, characters are were put into different places. And 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 also the relationship between Jessica and Trish was explored much more, which was so wonderful to see, you know, friends and so yeah. forth. And um, uh, Malcolm, I mean everybody had a journey, you know, and 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 I just thought the show Kind of came more into its own as its own thing. Uh, not that the first season wasn't its own thing, but it just it just got richer. The relationships got richer, and the music had to had to go along with it. Yeah, it hit me as you were saying that actually. I, I, I spoke about that a little bit with the with the uh, costume designers. Yeah, where they go from season to season, and it, it's it's a new character sort of, but you also have to keep the themes from from the previous season. Now with you, literally themes, the same theme, but same thing. It's yeah. a new season. So how do you? How do you keep it the same, but at the same time make it sound fresh? Oh, that's a great question. I mean, yeah, well, one thing I did is on the season two soundtrack, which just came out, I did a longer version of the main title theme, like a four or five minute version, just because I just wanted to keep exploring it, you know, just exploring uh, who she is and just explore how you felt about uh, the character. Hogarth, again, has some new themes mm -hmm. because, of, because of some of the situations she went through. Malcolm, uh, because they're in new situations and they're, they're, they're doing new things, you just sort of look at what's happening to them. Like in the case of, of Malcolm, for example, he, he was dressing up towards the end of the season, you know, more, yeah. you know, it's just a different look. And, and, and it musically, when you look at that, you, you just you just feel differently. You feel differently about the character and how 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 they're how they're behaving themselves. So musically, I just try to pay attention to what I'm feeling as any fan would feel as they see what's happening to that character and try to and try to just go along with it. But you're right. You can't start with a whole brand new sound, it's not, it is still her world. Yeah. It's just that the world's evolving and the music tries to evolve. You yeah. said that four minute version is, is on the soundtrack? Yeah. Yeah, so yeah, yeah. it's like so five minutes. Yeah. Go get that one. Five, five minutes. minutes. Five minute, yeah, it's a little more solo guitars and drums and yeah. stuff. Now, this is the part where we probably, you're going to have to say to be continued in July in okay. San Diego. <laughs> okay. What's coming up next for you? Uh, well, Knock wood, I hope there's a season three of Jessica Jones. Uh, there's a, there's some, a lot of talk about that, which would be great. I've got another season of Homeland uh, to finish out season eight with. And um, there's a couple other problems with the pipeline, but you're right, it would be, it would be a to-be-continued to be kind of thing if it happens. But, uh, yeah. but it was, uh, it's been a good year. Yeah. So, like always, we'll see you guys and Sean in San Diego. Thank you. Thanks, Sean. Great to see you.